Okay, this is going to be the vagus nerve right here. It's right next to carotid, but it's tied up. I'm going to move down to the uh, suprascapular and then the subscapular. And then the final landmark of the coracoid process. And then this is the axillary diving inside. It's axillary right there. Oh, it's all right. Yeah, it's all right. Um, musculocutaneous goes right in the biceps brachii. Then we have a giant radial nerve, medial nerve, median nerve, and then ulnar goes right to the elbow. So this is the ulna. This will be the medial pectoralis right here. The one that dives back right here. And this is lateral pectoralis. Hey, pull on the uh, ulnar. Ulnar? Yeah. Pull it out again. Like, I, you can see the M pretty good when you lift, lift it up towards you just a little bit. There's, there's your M. So there's your landmark. Oh, yeah, okay, I see. Here, here, and here. Mm -hmm. Okay, looks like the M to me. All right. Call okay, again. and then... What is this? This is nothing, right? Medium Medium lateral. <laughs> yeah, maybe. Okay. okay, um, long thoracic. That's right here. Long thoracic. And, yeah, I don't know. I think that's all parts of the always The rack of dorsal. Right. And, then and uh, that's it, right? Long thoracic and... Clinic and oh, it's not here. Phrenic nerve. And phrenic nerve comes off the cervical plexus and dives all the way down to the diaphragm. C345 keeps the diaphragm alive. Yeah.